guys so welcome back to another video i'm going to show you in this video how i cut <clears throat> trim my hair so it's long it has a little bit of layers i don't want to cut a lot my goal is to um let my hair grow basically like down to my bum but um i, I never I never get like that. I never get it that long. I usually always end up cutting it about like two, three inches under my um, under my shoulders. But ever since I was little, I told myself I wanted I want to have really, really long hair, and I never get to do it. I always end up cutting it off. I get tired of it. It's too long. It's too much work. But I'm gonna try. Um. So, but I do see that it's getting just a little bit dry. Like it's kind of getting a little stiff down here. So I'm going to um, basically just trim it, trim the layers, make it a little bit more fresh. I'm going to show you real quick how I do it. So we are going to start by parting. I have my mirror in front of me here, so I'm going to be looking on this side. Parting your hair right down the middle, like so. I like um, cutting my hair while it's dry. So I straightened it. I feel like it's a lot easier. When it's wet, I feel like the water just clumps the hair together a little bit. And then you end up cutting little chunks off, especially when you want to point cut. So I, I like it dry better. So right at the very top, right here, you're going right at the curvature of your head. You're going to bring it all the way down to your ear. So just like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So what we're doing right now is just sectioning the hair out, making it ready, getting it ready to cut. And then like that. So we are actually gonna start cutting the hair that's back here first. So I'm just going to grab all of this and put it up. And then just tie it up here. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. I don't want this video to be so long. So we're going to start with the longest part of your hair, which is right here, kind of towards the neck area. And then I'm going to put the rest up. So I kind of have it like section it out. So back here, I'm going to split it in half and this is basically going to start off the guide down here. So what I do is I just bring them together. I don't like tying them. I think it's the same thing. Just, sorry, I'm like on my tippy toes. I really don't, I didn't want to cut the length off, but uh, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to put it off. Just a little bit, just a little trim. And then I'm just going to point cut right here. I kind of have thick hair, so I just, I don't mind just cutting. So I'm going to slide it in the front, and if you see it right there, I'm going to cut a little bit in a diagonal this way, and I'm going to do that to both sides. So this is the longest part of our hair, which is down here, and this is going to be the shortest part, so I'm going to cut that part off. like that. 
and then do the same thing on the other side. This is the longest part, and then I'm just going to cut that off in the diagonal like that. I'm trying to get close to the counter because I don't want hair going down the sink. Okay. And then I just do it again to make sure it's okay. I try to do it as even as possible for both sides. So now I'm going to take another piece off or down. I'm trying to do it thin just so you could see the guide on the bottom. So now I'm going to do another piece and I'm just going to keep on going all the way up. Um, you have to make sure though, when you bring your hair to the front, here I'll show you real quick. So when you bring your hair to the front, make sure that when you're pulling it, you're pulling the same length, like the, you're extending your arm where you're pointing it to that same direction you've been doing the whole time. You don't want to start off down here and then end up like doing this up here. So make sure it's at the same level every time you do it. The line doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, I guess for me, just I know that I have a lot of hair, so it, even if I cut a little bit, like, the wrong way, you can barely tell. Okay, and then you'll be able to see the layers that it's already kind of doing here. This part of my hair folds this way, and then this one kind of look, they kind of do this. But you could see that it's basically even right there. I'm gonna just go, I just wanna see it one more time, maybe point cut. Okay, let me show you how it's looking from the back. I don't know if you could tell. Oh. You can't really see how I'm going to use this. So 
it's looking like a B, which I like. Um, I have always cut, cut my hair ever since I was in middle school. So you're gonna separate. We're not gonna use this part anymore. We're gonna start concentrating on framing the face. So I've been cutting my hair since middle school. I am not a professional. I basically don't know what I'm doing. I just made this up. But I've been doing this for a long time. I've been cutting it since middle school. I have only gone to get my hair cut three times my entire life and did not like any of the three. The last one was about 60 years ago because I said, oh, you know, the third one might be the charm. I don't know. So I went and I came out. <laughs> I didn't notice until I went home. That, that's when I did. I don't know. I, I don't know what I did. I don't know how I saw it. And if you would see me from my back and I had my hair straight, it was like this. And I was just like, what? Like, this is why I don't go to the salon. That's the last time. Third one's a charm, I thought. Anyways. Okay, so now we're going to move on to this bottom part. So we're gonna create a guide just the same way we did with the other section of the hair. Like I said, I don't want to cut a lot off. So I'm gonna cut about that off. You just basically wanna create a guide. So we have our bottom guide. And now we are going to create our top one. It's gonna be about an half an inch, half an inch on, e on both sides. So section it off on one side, about like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I mean, the more accurate the better. And then here is my other one. So we're gonna create our top guide. I have bangs, so a lot of it's gonna come down. So I'm going, like I said, I don't wanna cut a lot off, but I'm going to Cut it and create a different guide. Okay, so we can let this go now. Part it down the middle again. So now each section has their top guide and their bottom guide. So what I do with this is I'll give this whole section and then cut it, or cut it, <laughs> part it in half. So I'm gonna grab this one and then pull it upwards a little bit like slanted. So you're gonna see what I cut. So this top part is what we cut right now and that bottom is that first part we cut. So we're basically just gonna connect them and then point cut. Right there, I'm just gonna do this. I cut it straight across, but I'm just gonna point cut. I'm gonna just do it a lot because it looks kind of blunt. I mean, the more hair you have, the more you have to point cut, I guess. It might take forever, but I think it looks better. Keep on doing it. Okay. And that was, there you go. This is the top one and that's the bottom one and then we made them connect right there. So now we're going to do it on this side. 
front part. Okay, so this is, you want to slant it a little bit. So this is that cut that we did, and then this was that first one. Okay, and we're just going to connect. to this side my every I mean everyone's hair is different but I know that this side of my hair or my head has more hair than my left side okay so now we're gonna do it to this one So even if I only see one little hair right here, uh, that's still my bottom guide, this bottom part. And then connect it to this part, top portion. Okay. And then point up. these are the two pieces that we did now I'm gonna do my bangs so I'll just show you real quick how I do it so I kind of do like a little triangle kind of like I look at all the other YouTube videos I don't like doing a perfect triangle I kind of just do like a like a U a U wish one. <clears throat> so, like I said, I don't want to. I don't know how many times I've said it. I don't want to take a lot of length off. I'm just cutting the the tips. So what I'm going to do is do like a triangle right here. Just cut a triangle off. Some more here on this side. Okay. So I'm basically going to do this. Then you can point cut if you like. And then naturally, I mean, it'll kind of just do the long piece first and then slowly go down. So I'm also going to use that as my guide. And this is the last part. So I'll grab it and I feel like little hairs here and there. So I'm just gonna, pointing it down, I'm just gonna cut it off. I didn't really cut that much. Okay, so we're basically just, we're done. I 
I already feel it so much better. It feels soft all the way down now. I really need that. So this is my hair the way it looks like now. I just trimmed all of that. Okay, so it's still super long and even. If you try it, just cut a little bit off first, see if you like it, and then, you know, do it again, do the process all over again. Okay, so that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you try it. But, I mean, I cut my hair different ways all the time. I've been doing it for so long. I see videos and I just, I get pieces from videos and then I just do what I think, you know, I'm gonna like. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, bye.